Look at the darkness that is occurring here in Madras, Oregon. Awe. Oh. I'm getting chills. Yeah. Respect. Fear. I'm actually shaking. Witnessing a total solar eclipse can bring about many emotions. Oh, it's emotional. <laughs> I can't explain why, but it is. Most of us are lucky to see just one of these jaw-dropping moments in our lifetime. And when we do, we have a much better understanding of what we're seeing and why, which is very different from the way ancient cultures viewed these events. For example, in Norse mythology, the wolf Skull chases the sun every day and finally manages to eat it during an eclipse. The same was true in ancient China, where the people had to bang drums to chase away a sun-eating dragon. For the people of the Andes, it was a puma. For the Choctaw, a mischievous black squirrel. The Inca believed that Inti, the all-powerful sun god, was benevolent and kind, but an eclipse was a sign of his displeasure. The Greeks believed that the gods might leave them. In fact, eclipse comes from the Greek word for abandonment, and that they should immediately change their ways. In modern times, we rarely attach supernatural stories to total solar eclipses, but that doesn't take away their power. Literally took our breath away. Those precious few minutes of totality can still be moments of awe and opportunities to contemplate the vital role that the sun plays in our lives.